Hi guys, and welcome back to Strictly The Truth. I'm your host, James Jordan, and I'm going to be going through all the dances week by week and dissecting them as much as we can, telling you who we thought were fantastic, who we think needs improvement, and going through technical aspects. I'm joined by Hello's TV and film editor, Emmy. Welcome back, Emmy. Hello, how are Thank you? you for us. Yeah, I'm good. I do have, I'm sure you can hear, I've got a terrible sore throat this week, but I apologize for my voice in advance. But let's start by saying, week two, I thought again, really high standard. Uh, for week two, I mean, uh, one of the couples obviously got nines across the leaderboard. I think they said it's only like the second or third time in strictly history that that's happened. So it shows you the level this year is extremely high. What did you think? I mean, I thought it wasn't as high quality as the week before, actually. I mean, I feel like the judges were a lot harsher. I, I, I'm I, wondering whether there's this thing where it's like, let's start the show on a high, let's give everyone, you know, a good boost. They're very nervous. And then this week is a bit more, we're going to get into the nitty gritty of it. And I do think I was expecting higher from a lot of people from than what the judges gave them, because I thought, I just thought they were being a bit less generous this week, apart from with Leighton and Nikita, but obviously very well-deserved score there. It was incredible. I, I liked it. I liked the fact that they were being more critical. I did feel, although I thought the standard is still very high, there was a drop in performance level and technique. I could really see it. And I think that's because week one, they get longer to prepare and rehearse for their first dance. And I could see a couple of the couples that I really liked last week looked slightly unrehearsed this week but then on the flip side of that some of the couples that i didn't particularly like last week i really enjoyed this week i mean well let's get into it then because um, last, it. last week we got into some trouble because we didn't mention he is a <laughs> so we, we apologize for that because we did think he was amazing but he was first on this week so you know let's let's open by talking about him what did you make of their performance well, let's start by saying last week he did the Foxtrot, which I thought was amazing. This week he came out. I didn't think he was as good this week. I'm going to put that out there. I thought his Foxtrot last week was so sophisticated and so cool. This week, the Charleston needs to be really high energy. I enjoyed the performance. I did feel that it was a little bit underperformed. He needs to throw himself into it a bit more, needs to be a bit more powerful hit his lines. Sometimes I feel he looks a bit too cool for school. And for dancers like the Foxtrot, that works. But in the Charleston, I just kind of missed that exuberance and energy. But having said that, for week two, still a fantastic job and the public are going to love them, as did I. So, yeah, speaking of people who maybe did better last week than this week, um, Jodie and Yuita really drop 21 the first week and then this was 16 so it really yeah. wasn't great and i mean what what did you make of it oh you know what <laughs> last week oh, yeah. i really enjoyed them i thought you know he he actually shocked me how good he was i think he's struggled with having much less time to perfect the dance unfortunately from beginning to end it was really, really bad. I mean, he obviously has um, a lot of support, though, because he wasn't in the bottom two. Um, no. Obviously, we had Les and Nikita, which I, I do think you called Nikita um, as being down there. I think I think we thought that Les would last a bit longer with the entertainment factor. I did, but when... it wasn't entertaining, though, was it? That's the problem. <laughs> as much as I love him, and like I said last week, I wanted to Les, Les to stay in the competition you know, for at least a few weeks because I love him, but he didn't deserve to stay in the competition. He was at the bottom two and the, and the public got it right. And I do feel that someone like Jody and Yovita have got a lot more potential to improve because we've seen that week one, that he has the potential. This could just be a bad dance for him. It's interesting that he was first out because is that saying that, you know, sort of the audience watching this, has has less time for those acts nowadays and they actually do just want to see like quality and they want to see people improve no i don't think so and i'm not trying to put blame on anyone here but what i feel is it wasn't entertaining 
So when you watch the likes of Anne Widdicombe or John Sargent, it was still fun to watch. It, it was not only bad dancing, it wasn't entertaining. And that's why the public haven't voted for it. But I'm going to put it out there and say he probably would have had a better chance with someone like Katya. To be able to take someone that is a total non-dancer and make it entertaining, there's a skill, there's an art in that. And Katya has that. I mean, well, speaking of um, Katya, though, um, yeah. can we talk a little bit about them now, Nigel yes. and Katya? Because... I was not expecting the judges to be as harsh as they were there. And I think that's been the big thing on Twitter is the reaction to that week is that it's like the the judges were so nice to some people. And then Nigel, who I think is cut above the rest a little bit, they were really critiquing him. So, I mean, I, 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 what, what, what do you think? Okay, this is my feeling on it. Okay. That was not harsh. They were just giving constructive criticism. They gave him a lot more constructive criticism than most other people. So I would take that as a positive. Why are they doing that? Because they know he can. I like the fact, I love Shirley when she's like that. Me too. <laughs> no, what is it with, she can't win really because last year I think she was quite harsh on the women and people go, oh, she just doesn't like women. She loves the men, you know? Yeah. And then this year... She's, she actually seems to be harsh on the men. Yeah. And now they're going, oh, she just doesn't like men. <laughs> so whatever she does, she can't actually win. That makes so much sense as well, doesn't but, it? It's like they're getting so much criticism because these are the people you can see improving and taking it on board. The only thing I was disappointed with was that they weren't as hard on someone like Ellie and Vito. I mean, they... they destroyed Eddie as well, didn't they? I mean, Karen, Karen's face. Yeah, um, let's I mean, she, talk about that. We talk about that. They, yeah, really, really not great for, for Eddie. So he got 21 and it was, and they were, they were harsh. They were harsh. Like, and you know, it's a, like you say, it's a good thing. It's all, it's all constructive, but you could, you could see Karen just being like, uh, kind of like, this is not what I was expecting maybe. Did I enjoy the dance? Yes, I did. I really enjoyed it. I love it. If it him. was just, it was, re because he's got, as the judges said, you have the most natural rhythm running through your body, which he does. Yeah. But it's the cha-cha. What is the most important thing in cha-cha? Straight and bent legs when they're supposed to be. Right. He didn't have that. Rotation through the bottom, through the hips, opposition. He didn't have that. The judges have their job to do, yeah. and that is critique the dancing. And again, I'm going to say that they were spot on. And I was actually more shocked at Karen's reaction, going, really? Go back and look at it, because technically it was, it was not a cha-cha. Now, having said that, I still love them as a couple, and I think he's going to go a long way in the competition. And I felt sorry for him because you had Vito and Ellie. They came out and did a foxtrot. Yes, let's talk okay. about that. So they came out and did a foxtrot. And the judges totally brushed aside that they didn't really do a foxtrot. Yeah. So you can't crucify Eddie like you did. But then let Ellie and Vito get away with essentially an American smooth. It wasn't a foxtrot because... Foxtrot is slow, quick, quick, slow. They had one section at the beginning where they did slow, quick, quick, slow. Everything else was syncopated. They broke hold all the time. Yeah. Did I like the dance? Yes, I loved it. But that's not the point. You have to be consistent. And for me, the judges weren't consistent because they didn't pick up on the fact it wasn't a proper Foxtrot. So speaking of the judges scoring being unfair, though, why didn't Leighton and Nikita get tens across the board? Is my question. I've never got it. I've never understood it. That could be his best dance. And then what happens is, then they get to do it again in the final, and he get straight tens. Yeah. And it'll be exactly the same. Sometimes not as good as the first time they do it. Yeah. I I am a firm believer. If it's worth a ten, give a ten. I think there's something there where maybe they're told you can't give tens in week two. Uh, your guess is as good as mine. Did I think it was worth a 10? Wow, this is this is a really hard one because it was amazing. It was so good. Yeah. The only critique I had 
was when he's in frame, he was a little bit stiff in the frame. So when he's in frame, it's a little bit wooden. It's still worth a 10. The only reason I'm being ultra, ultra picky is because he's a fully trained professional dancer. Yes. Yeah. So when they came out, you had essentially two professional dancers next to each other. Let's not say that, oh, it's because he's really talented and he's worked really hard because that kind of belittles our world, dancing world, that someone can come out and be that good after yeah. a week's training. Yeah. You can't. It was Probably one of my favorite dances I've ever seen on the show. That was amazing. But it's only because he's a professional dancer. <laughs> Do I feel Strictly are going too far now with bringing on professionally trained dancers? Yes, because I would actually say to anyone that is thinking of doing Strictly, don't do Strictly unless you've dance trained in some way, shape or form, because you don't have a chance. Yeah. It was a two. But it was a 10. I think it was, it was a 10. Yeah, All day long, it was a 10. They're both pros. It's an amazing dance. Just call it what it is. And then um, after them two, second on the leaderboard, you've got uh, Giovanni and Amanda, who, to be honest with you, has sort of been flying under the radar for me. Like, they're saying that she's that good and she's getting these really amazing scores. She's not as much in the forefront of her mind as some of the other pairings. Do you know what I mean? Why do you think that is, though? I don't know. I just think it's like they're just they're, there's no fuss. They're just going on. They're they're performing really well, and then that's it. It's like there just doesn't seem yeah. like there's that much of a fanfare around them. Big lifts. Everyone was going. Oh my god, the lifts were amazing. I didn't particularly like some of the lifts. I mean, the one where she had her legs akimbo around his neck, and he's like looking like this. I mean, what was that? It was a. I, I get left feeling cold when I watch them. I don't feel invested in them as a partnership. Yeah. And this is something Ola said as well when we were watching together. Why is that? Because I'm the same. It almost feels, I, I hate using this word, it almost feels a bit fake. Like the facial expressions and everything, it doesn't feel like it's coming from internally. Yeah. As a couple, I don't really like it at the moment. I, there's something not working. Now, I could change in two weeks' time, they could be my favourites. Angela and Carlos. Yes. You remember last week I said, What would a judge she was overmarked? Yeah. And they were saying she had so much potential. I didn't see any potential. I I take it all back. Yeah. I take it all back. I've got three stars next to her name saying best improvement out of everyone. Her legs were phenomenal. Such a shock because I didn't feel I thought thought she looked awkward last week. I was like, She's going to really struggle with the Latin. I definitely see them now as being one of the power couples as well. I think she's got a lot of potential. And I didn't see that last week. Um, she came out this week and, and shut me up. Yeah, I was wrong. Nice. Well, I'll wow. admit it. <laughs> Hold my hands up. Really good. Really liked them. So I was also seeing some stuff about Angela and Kai. Let's talk about them for a minute. Because I think, I like as amazing as they are, do you think which is what I've seen from some people on Twitter, that they might be marked the way they are because Angela is obviously older. She's like, she's amazing. But do you think the judges are being nice to her and they'd maybe be a little harsher on the dancer if it was a younger person doing these routines? No. Okay. I'm going to say, Shirley, definitely not. I mean, she, she gave the lowest mark, didn't she? She gave a seven. I would have given her a seven. Now, the reason... It's not going to be as high energy as someone in their 20s. That's just a fact of life. As you get older, your energy. But the class that she had, the way that she used her arms to the fingertip, she was dancing. It was classy. It was pure. It was soft. Kai put together a really nice traditional foxtrot, slow, quick, quick, slow. So let's wait until... Angela perhaps gets a jive or a quick step where she's going to need to exert herself more. But this week it was a foxtrot, so you can only critique on the foxtrot. Do I think they overmarked her? Possibly a little bit. I think seven was probably the max it should have been. James, for next week, who are you thinking is in trouble? I've got someone in my head, but you might have uh, different ideas. So who are you thinking? So I'm going to say... Nikita and Gorka. Yeah. Which I feel sad for because I think she improved a lot on last week. One of the judges actually mentioned that she did look like a rabbit in the headlights last week and came out this week. 
totally sold it. Still technically not great, but she's not danced before. So I think she actually did a really, really, really good job. There weren't any big lifts in it or anything like that. It was a mega entertaining, um, hence why they were in the bottom two. Possibly Zara. Yeah, possibly Zara. Or let's, now it starts getting difficult. You see, I'm going to say Jody and Javita. I've, I've got a bit of a, a controversial one, so you might disagree with me, but I'm wondering whether Adam and Luba might not do that well next week. Just because I think it's like they're sort of in this zone of like they're not covering themselves in glory. They're not terrible either. They're just sort of like in this. I feel, I feel like people will forget about them. You know what? I'm glad you actually brought up Adam and Luba because next to the, I write down what I would have given them and then what the judges gave them. And I wrote next to the judges scores, harsh. Okay. And that's the only one that I have out of all of them. I actually really like them as a couple. He makes me smile. He makes me laugh. I really enjoyed their dance last week. He started on the chair. The lighting on him, it was a really dramatic song. Uh, there was loads of intensity. You know, his acting skills came in. I think he was undermarked. If he goes, I'll be gutted because I think he's got a lot more to give at this moment. But that leads us to the MVP. Who was your favourite pair of the, of the day? I mean, not even... A question, it was Leighton and Nikita. Yeah. It was exceptional. It blew me away. I got goose pimples watching it. It was that good. So, yeah, I, I have to give this week to them. Thank you so much for joining us for another episode of Strictly the Truth. Don't forget to like and subscribe and head over to hellomagazine.com for more Strictly content this week. And join us next week as we're going to be talking about week three. Bye. Bye. Bye.